So the basics of polynomial functions, what degree is this? So because it is both going up, we know that it's even. And because it's a W shape, we know that it is a fourth degree. The graph below represents a what? So um, what do we know about A? Well, this is a cubic, and because it's shaped like that, we know that A is negative. Given the graph, which is true? The polynomial has a fourth degree? No, because these go in opposite, so no. It's a third degree, so it could be either of these. What kind of leading coefficient does it have? It would be a negative coefficient. So it's a third degree with a negative coefficient. Number four, explain how the end behavior of a graph um, of function is different with an even and an odd degree. So even the ends go either like that or like that, which is the same direction. And when it's an odd degree, it'll either do that situation or this situation, but they're going to be going in different directions. What is the degree of this? So we have same arrows, so it can't be odd, and it's a W shape, so it is a fourth. Explain how the value of N affects the behavior of the graph of the polynomial um, as P of X approaches the X intercept at one. So, um, if if n is 1, then it will cross through, and if it will be x minus 1 squared, it would be bounce off at 1 and then if I was to have an x minus 1 to the 3 if n was 3 it would flatten and cross through at 1 identify the maximum number of x intercepts with a polynomial of third degree so the most you could have is 3. Explain why this is not a polynomial. The exponents aren't whole numbers. Okay, you can't have an exponent of a half in a polynomial function. Number nine, describe a difference between these two graphs. So this is the same, this is the same. So this one is a negative coefficient and this one is a positive coefficient. So squared and one make a cubic. So this one versus this one. That's the difference in the end behavior. So the end goes from that versus that. So the end behavior would be different. Okay, so you can talk about um, going from positive infinity to negative infinity versus negative infinity towards positive infinity.
describing the relationships between the zeros of this functions and the roots and the x-intercepts, okay? That all means the same thing. So the x-intercepts, for instance, this would be a negative 3, and this would be a 1 half. And then if I was to solve this, it would be x equals 1 half and x equals negative 3. Okay, they're all the same numbers. They all mean the same thing. State a possible value of n if you want this to have a range from 0 to infinity. Okay, so if I want that, I'm thinking I'm going to have to bounce so that I'm only going from 0 to up. So in other words, this will have to be even. So I'm going to put that as a 2. So p of x equals x minus 1 squared and x plus 2 squared. And then that would create bounce off of each one. And now my range goes from 0 to infinite. OK, so 2 equals n. Brian was asked to state the zeros of this polynomial, and his response was this. What is his error? He stated the factors, not the roots. So he should have said negative 2, 5, and 1 are the roots. So he was mixing up what a root was or what a factor was. Describe the end behavior of this. So it's an x cubed, all of the degrees put together. And there's a negative in the front. So it will look like that. So if you want to describe it, it goes from positive infinity, and it heads towards negative infinity. Identify which is a polynomial. So this is not with the half. This is not, and this is not. They have to have whole number exponents. So it's A. Justify that the shapes are different as x approaches 1. So at that, because the exponent is 1, it's going to cross through. And when we look at this one, at x equals 1, because that's 3, it's going to flatten and cross. So on this one, at 1, uh, let me see here, we also have a negative 1 with a bounce, and it's cubic, so it's going to look like that. It's just going to cross, and this is a fifth degree, so at negative 1, it's a bounce, and then at 1, it's going to flatten, and then go through, but it's going to flatten.